I love this mac and cheese. It's stretchy and oozy and so tasty. And in fact, there's actually more cheese than there is pasta in this recipe. So we should probably call it cheese and mac. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now everyone loves mac and cheese, right? But why limit yourself to one or even two cheeses when you can have four? This is gonna be fantastic. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start by preheating the oven to 200C or 400F. Now I've got 200 grams, which is about seven ounces of spirale pasta here. But if you haven't got spirale, then you can use whatever pasta you feel like. So we're gonna cook that as per the pack instructions. While that pasta's cooking, we're gonna make that super cheesy sauce. So we're gonna start off by melting 60 grams, which is about four tablespoons of unsalted butter in a pan. Once the butter's melted, gradually add in 60 grams, which is about half a cup of plain all-purpose flour, whilst constantly stirring with a whisk until it becomes a thick paste. Once you've got to a thick paste, we're gonna gradually add in 480 ml, which is about two cups of full fat milk, while stirring with the whisk until combined. Now for the cheese, I've got 75 grams, which is about three quarters of a cup each of Gouda, cheddar and mozzarella. I've also got 50 grams, which is about half a cup of grated Parmesan. And we're gonna add that into the sauce, reserving a little bit of each of the cheeses to top the pasta afterwards. By now, the pasta should be ready. So drain the pasta in a colander and then add it to the sauce. Mix together until that decadent cheesy sauce coats the pasta. And transfer the pasta to a baking dish. Sprinkle that reserved cheese from earlier on top. As my husband Chris says, everything tastes better with bacon. So I'm gonna add a little bit of lightly cooked bacon on top of the pasta. You can leave this out if you prefer. I've just lightly cooked the bacon and chopped it up. It will carry on cooking once it's in the oven. Bake the mac and cheese in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. Then sprinkle on a little parsley and serve. So that's my easy, cheesy, four cheese mac and cheese. I really hope you enjoy it. This recipe plus 99 others is available in my new cookbook, It's All About Dinner. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. See you next time.